hello everyone welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here it's lovely to have you here on my channel i hope you want to stick around and subscribe it's entirely free and it just means you get a notification whenever i upload a new video which obviously this month is quite a lot because i am uploading a new video every day on this channel so obviously this is kind of like in the future um but I have just finished uploading our holiday vlogs for Tattershall Lakes, which was Nelly's first holiday. It was really, really amazing, and I'm so glad that I got to document the majority of it as well, at least the highlights. Um, yeah, it was just lovely to get away, and I thought I would just do in this video a little sit down video all about just a few bits that I wanted to mention, um, just in case you are wanting to book at Tattershall Lakes um, or anything like that, I just thought I would sit down, give a little rundown, hopefully not too long but we all know how I like to ramble, um, just to kind of finalise that series off. But yeah, as I say, it's a few weeks later now and looking back, I've watched those vlogs several times already because I just love looking at the memories um, and it couldn't have gone any better to be fair. So yeah, I'm just going to potter through I've got a little list of things that I wanted to mention um and yeah we loved it so much we have booked to go again at another time which we're already like planning and saving and working towards having another amazing time up there so yeah let's get into today's video just as two little side notes apologies about the noise of the traffic um there's nothing I can do about that obviously it's road outside and Today of all days, all the lorries are going up and down this bit instead of going down the other way. So I don't know if a road's been closed, but it's quite busy out there. Um, typically, because I want to film this video. And secondly, you may hear my washing machine in the background when it goes on to spin. But again, nothing I can do about that. We've just got back from another holiday, which I have also vlogged, um, which will be coming soon on my channel. And so there is a lot of washing is absolutely full at the minute I've got so much more washing to do as well because Nellie has grown so much in the last couple of weeks that she's now in the next size up technically however I haven't actually washed anything yet so she's still in the clothes that are pretty much too small for her um so I'm kind of like panic washing everything now so yeah apologies about those two noises but let's get into it so if I talk about the booking first, I've got, as I say, I've got a list, so I'm just going to keep looking down every so often because I've still got baby brain and I'm not sure it's ever going to go. Um, and I don't want to miss telling you something that I wanted to mention. So, um, yeah, I'm going to lay down at my list. I've se segmented it into different things that I just really wanted to talk about. I'm also at the end just going to share a few tips that we found May travelling with Nelly a bit easier and hopefully if you want to travel with kids it might give you some ideas too um so stick around to the end for that if we talk about booking first of all i have actually stayed at tattershall lakes before i stayed there in 2018 with my ex-partner um and we stayed on a touring pitch which they don't actually do that anymore um it is just static caravans throughout now but we stayed on a touring pitch and i really enjoyed how close it was to RF Coningsby. Obviously, you may know, I like my planes, Ash likes his planes. So when thinking about Nelly's first holiday, I thought this would be perfect because we have to get her used to planes because we'd already booked in quite a few shows. So she's gonna be around planes. So what better way to do it than start a first holiday and slowly introduce her to it rather than just turn up at an air show and not know how she's gonna take it. So that was our main reason for booking. I really wanted to see what it was like now because obviously during that time we've had a pandemic, businesses evolve and change over time anyway and I was just really looking forward to seeing what it was like there now. The main basis of it was still very much similar, like the areas were still the same, um, although last time I didn't get to explore really any of the the area too much sort of on the complex so it was nice to be able to do that when we got there um but yeah i wanted to see how it had changed um and also the really good thing it's run by away resorts they do have quite a few 
um, different locations up and down the country as well that you can book into and some of them I believe do still do touring parks it's just Tattershaw Lakes have stopped doing it there which is fair enough yeah there's different venues that you can go for but the thing I really like about it is the fact that I could book it and only pay a 10% deposit as long as my holiday was paid for I think it was like a month or six weeks before which is standard anyway like I used to do that with TUI when we used to go abroad um, you know you'd pay in instalments you wouldn't pay it all off in one go unless you really had to um, so that was the good thing I liked about being able to pay it in little chunks potentially um, which is what we're doing for our next one unfortunately we couldn't do it for this first holiday because the time in between booking and going was too short so I had to pay it all in full but it wasn't an issue because I've been saving up money for it anyway um, I just didn't want to book it until Nellie had arrived safely just in case because you never know like if she had needed to go into intensive care or if there was any issues then obviously I, I wouldn't want to go that far um, so we didn't book it until I think it was March time I think we booked it um something like that and we went end of April so you know like it wasn't the end of the world but yeah like I say the money I would have put in each month to pay for it anyway I was saving so that worked out fine it wasn't you know a huge chunk of money suddenly going out but the fact that you can book with just a 10% deposit is really really appealing especially like as a parent because there's so much like money just disappears you know like this month alone I just bought a baby monitor because Nellie's gonna be having a nap down the other end like she does now she's having one right now um but i've just got to keep going and checking on her but i've also got to buy a mattress because she's outgrown her moses basket pretty much i think she's probably got about a month left in it if that so she'll be going in her cot bed so i need a mattress for that i need bedding there's just like always something and then obviously in between that she's grown out of all her clothes so there's just always money needed for something um so to be able to do it in little installments is a big big help I can't fully remember the price off the top of my head but when I'm editing this later I'll try and leave it on screen what we paid um, for the actual caravan but we paid for a comfort caravan because we wanted to have a TV which I know sounds really stupid but the TV is a saviour when we just need to get something done quickly just pop Nelly in her bouncer she sits and watches anything like gardening programs like obviously she likes kids stuff as well but she loves watching anything with plants trees anything like that she's absolutely fine so we really wanted a tv plus we were a bit restricted because obviously when Nelly goes to sleep at night like we don't want to be out and about otherwise she's going to be disturbed sleep and we didn't want to just sit there twiddling our thumbs you know so we thought a tv would be perfect um for like the evenings and stuff as well which it was what we didn't know when we actually went to Tatshaw Lakes no one said anything um and it's only since when we've got home that we found out because I had to phone up and query something was that we were actually upgraded to a supreme caravan so in the vlog the tour and everything that you see that is actually a supreme not a comfort um I think the main difference though with the supreme basically was that there was heating throughout which when we've booked again we've booked for supreme because that was actually really beneficial at that time of year if you're going like later in the year say like july august then obviously that's probably not going to be too much of an issue but it was a bit chilly in the morning so it was nice just to have like the heating and things that we could do throughout so yeah just bear that in mind so our arrival was really smooth check-in was so quick and easy we literally got to like the gates because that you have to show your passes to get in which was another thing that you never used to have to do so I kind of like that a little bit more now like everyone that's wandering around should be there if that makes sense um but yeah we were told to go and park up in the reception area car park go into reception we literally just had to give our book and reference and name they had everything there already and we were in and out within about three minutes like it was so so smooth so quick they were really really friendly they gave us like a map and explained exactly how to get where we needed to go and explained where like things were and stuff on the park um and yeah it just i don't think i've ever checked in anywhere that smoothly 
obviously it was a great location for us there were several things we wanted to do in the area not just go to RAF Coningsby and it was just a great location to be fair even our caravan on site was perfect um, we couldn't have asked for a better location for that and yeah it was just location wise it was the place to be for what we wanted to do everything was within an hour the only downside was the supermarket was quite far away but that's just because it's rural countryside um in the main they did have like a co-op and i don't know what there was another shop a londis i think something like that but obviously they're quite expensive and i like my littles so we knew there was a little like 20-30 minutes down the road so that was fine for us we'd already budgeted that in like fuel wise etc um but yeah just bear that in mind because you might want to get your shopping before you get there if that makes sense the caravan itself was so so spacious um obviously traveling with a child you had end up having a lot of stuff um there was so much storage everything slotted into its little place and we weren't left with like mess and chaos um obviously nelly's toys you would have seen in the vlogs were on the floor etc but that was just for ease of use they could have been packed away but what was the point when we were just like constantly using them um but yeah there was so much storage everything went away really nicely even like the suitcase that we put the clothes in that could just slot under the bed like it was just yeah really really good for storage um and yeah it was just really good for what we needed like having the open plan like kitchen diner living room as well which i think the majority do but i have seen some that don't in like other parks um but that was just really easy for us because i could keep an eye on nelly whilst I was cooking tea or washing up or you know anything like that so that came in really handy as well they do have a shop on site which we did go to um as you would expect it was pricey so it's for convenience more than anything um and if you can afford to do your shopping there then you know you'll probably find everything you need in there for us personally like i say it was a bit expensive we literally picked up some butter for like our sandwiches for the days um and also a fridge magnet of like the park just for nelly's memory box or like to put on the fridge or whatnot um just as like a little keepsake and that was it and i think that nelly came to a tenner i nearly like fainted at the price um but yeah, so there is a shop there if you want to use it. Obviously, we took Nelly for her first time in the swimming pool, which she did amazing. As I said in the vlog, it went so much better than I could even have imagined. I was quite feeling quite anxious that she was going to screen the place down, hate it, you know, what have you. But she really enjoyed it. And right up until like the last five minutes that we were in there, she got a bit whingy. But I think that was more that she was tired, you know. Um, so you have to book it in advance and I think we could book that one 10 days in advance some activities were like a month before and then swimming and a couple other things were like 10 days before which is fine and yeah it was a nice size pool I would say you would class it as more of a kiddies pool because I could walk the whole length of, the whole length of it it was only small it wasn't too big um, there was two other fa families I think as well as us and we didn't get in each other's way um, you know we all had our little section we were all moving about and it was absolutely fine um, it was really nice and warm which is a plus because obviously I didn't want Nelly to get cold and yeah it was just perfect for what we needed really you will have seen on the vlogs as well that they had an arcade there which we spent way too much money probably trying to win a little mini duck which as a side note I then went to the Devon country show and there was a store selling the exact same ones for like a pound and I'm pretty sure I probably put about £30 in this machine but I had fun so it, you know it's not all bad um, but yeah there's lots of things in the arcade that you can do lots of like ride on things driving things the 2p machines they've got like the adult section with the um, slot machines and stuff like that there is quite a bit to do in there um, which is perfect obviously for a rainy day because we live in England and yeah it's never sunny for long like we've had a lovely few days um the last couple of days and it looks like it's literally gonna hammer it down in a minute they do also have lots of or not lots of but some bars and restaurants and things on site we didn't actually try any of those other than we did try the chippy we like budgeted that in that we were going to have a chippy tea on one of the nights and the food from the chippy was so so good like taste wise 
Um, however, again, I suppose because it's on the park, it was a little bit expensive. Um, and their large portion of chips, because we were like, we'll get two battered sausages. I can't even remember how much we paid, to be fair. But it was like two battered sausages, a large portion of chips that we could share, and some fish bites. But their large portion of chips chips I would say unless they made a mistake which I don't think they did um I would say that it was more of a like small to medium like their large portion portion of chips definitely wouldn't have shared between the two of us if we hadn't have had like the fish bites I think we would have still been hungry um and we don't eat like particularly big portions before anyone says maybe you just eat too much <laughs> we don't um but yeah so like portion size was a little bit off there but it was really really tasty so I'm still glad that I had it I just know for next time get my own chips because there's not enough to share between two <laughs> they do obviously also because it's Tattershall Lakes the clue is in the name they do do a lot of water sports um we sat and watched the jet skis for a little while and they had like an inflatable thing and various other activities that you could book obviously Nelly being so young we couldn't do any of those realistically um maybe when she's a bit older i'd quite like to do the pedalos because i've always wanted to do that i've never been able to do it so yeah i'd love to do that one day in the future um but yeah we didn't actually do any and they also have bikes for hire but again we didn't do that i did look into it but it said there was bikes for all but it didn't say if there was like a baby seat so i was like i'm not going to book it to turn up and find out that nelly can't go in anything so we didn't do that but again if you've got like slightly older kids then maybe that is something fun to do because it is a big park and you know it is really pretty to actually go around so yeah it might be worth looking into if that's your kind of thing um but yeah if you want to do any like water type sports you can book those again in advance and i think they had like high ropes as well and several other things um but yeah so plenty to do they did also have like an events program of like nighttime stuff that was going on. I know there was like an outdoor cinema one night, which we were going to go to, but we didn't end up doing it because it was on the day when it was not very nice weather. Um, they had like kids entertainment, different things in there. But again, Nelly's too young. She wouldn't have really enjoyed it. And I can't be sitting and listening to those songs for more time than I've got to um, and they did also have adults bingo but again I wasn't sure because it said 18 plus only but I don't know if that was to play which I presume so because obviously most families go there but it said to get there early and it just didn't work with our times etc so yeah we didn't do any of that sadly this time but maybe next time you never know um, but yeah and then checkout was super super smooth um literally pack up your belongings lock your caravan and then literally put it in the key bin that was it there was no faffing nothing like that um so yeah really super super easy we literally left on time and it meant that then we had the rest of the day to like drive home but still obviously go to the museum and stuff which you would have seen and yeah it was just the whole thing was like nice and relaxed there was no stress or anything like that I can hear Nelly waking up <laughs> one sec we've been joined by Nelly Nelly you just woken up haven't you darling can you see yourself that's it you look at that um so yeah basically as you can tell really really simple and relaxed and just so much fun like we really really enjoyed ourselves I do think it's because of a few tips which I'm going to mention now um I have also done a blog post so I will try my best to remember to link it down below if not you will see it on the Kelly Diane report if you just type that into Google it will come up um but the main thing that we found so so helpful was to plan ahead which is an obvious one um but we literally planned everything so we planned our itinerary from like leaving the flat um to getting up there we planned even before that we planned exactly what we were taking um you know like i had lists growing out my ears for the weeks beforehand we packed up the car and started on our itinerary um literally from leaving the door and we also planned out what we wanted from Lidl so that we could kind of just 
jump our stuff off and go because obviously it had been a bit of a different day for Nelly so she was tired and we wanted to I can't I can't cope you're cute you're so cute we wanted to make the most of our time there because it was relatively short um so yeah like literally just plan everything but at the same time with those plans we were still very flexible with them like even on the day we left to go up there we had a time in mind that we wanted to get everything sorted and go by um but we were flexible that Nelly might sleep later or things might not go to plan or um there'd be traffic for example the same is like we were flexible with our plans each day as well because obviously some of the places we went we might have spent more time at and um yeah you just you don't know so plan but allow for flexibility as well is definitely my number one tip um yeah it just helped us with the budget as well like literally we planned everything how much we were going to spend each day how much things cost to get in um any extra fuel we needed although we didn't we had enough fuel to get up and back because we planned it um so yeah that is definitely my number one tip and mainly the second tip i would say is to pack wisely um i think that really helped us with traveling you know like pack a first aid kit because whilst when it was just the two of you it would be fine but obviously with kids you need plastics and savvy cream and you know like various different things um so yeah just pack wisely take a first aid kit number one and also take things for different weathers um whilst we were there we had like scorching days we had a day that was really really windy which Nelly actually ended up getting wind burn from which I feel really guilty about but it's just one of those things like it was always going to happen at some point um yeah we had wet days sunny days windy days didn't we and then we, the day we were leaving like beautiful weather like the perfect weather that we wished we had had the whole time but it just wasn't like that so just make sure you've got stuff for all weathers especially if it's a UK staycation you're taking your nails in madam um spare clothes because if kids are having fun they're gonna get mucky like just let them enjoy themselves you know um so definitely like spare clothes and things as well and i would also say to if you've got youngish ones but they normally walk say like two or three but they normally walk by themselves maybe think about taking a stroller especially at tatchell lakes i don't know about other parks but there's a lot of walking so like a stroller or a buggy board or something like that probably is going to become your greatest resource if you're walking anywhere because these parks are big and yeah it's a lot of walking for little feet obviously Nelly was in a pram so it didn't matter in that sense but the amount of kids that we saw that were not getting stroppy but you could tell they were just tired and things because of the walking that they were doing they were saying their legs were hurting and things like that so yeah especially younger ones maybe think about like a few bits like that um, and then my other real essential that really got us through was to pack a travel bag. Um, we did this for obviously like travelling up and down but we did it for every day as well. This had just in it like snacks for us obviously but when she gets older it will be snacks for Nelly as well. Um, things to keep them entertained. Just bits and bobs like that. Um, yeah, definitely get that because... They get bored so so easily i'm lucky at the minute that this little madam likes to sleep when we're in the car but i know it's not going to be like that for much longer because she is waking up part way for a journey so um yeah just all of the entertainment all of the snacks the drinks and things like that that you can just get to to hand because obviously when you're doing a staycation holiday nine times out of ten your car is absolutely rammed <laughs> um so yeah that is my little tips as I say, I'll leave the full blog post linked down below if you want to go and check that out. There are some more tips on there. But thank you so much for watching and thank you for my little Nelly Bean for joining us for this last little segment, yeah? <laughs> I'll just show you how big she's got. Look how big she is. 
<gasps> you big girl now, aren't you? She's literally just like, Mum, I want to go and play with my toys. <laughs> um, but yeah, please remember to like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it, wouldn't we, Nelly Nelly? And I'll see you all again soon. Well, I'll see you all again tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye.